The knack of nap, understanding its meaning. Hello dear learners. Today, we're going to explore the word nap. It might be a less familiar term for many of you, but by the end of this video, you'll understand its meaning and how to use it. Let's dive right in and unpack the word nap. Nap is a verb, and it primarily refers to the act of striking something with a sharp blow. It is often associated with the process of shaping stone tools by chipping away at them. Imagine ancient people creating tools by hitting rocks together. They were napping to create sharp edges. To get a clear picture, let's look at some examples. 1. Archaeologists found evidence that early humans napped stones to make tools. 2. He learned how to nap flint to create sharp-edged tools. From these examples, you can see that the term is often used in the context of making primitive tools, especially by ancient civilizations. While the primary use of nap is related to stone tool making, there are a few other contexts where it might appear. 1. In some regional dialects, nap can mean a small hill or a summit. 2. It might also be used to describe the sound that comes from a sharp blow, like the nap of a firecracker. So, there you have it. The term nap primarily refers to the action of shaping stone tools with sharp blows. But, as with many words, it can have other meanings based on the context. We hope this video has made the term clearer for you. Remember, language is an ever-evolving entity, and understanding nuances like this will only make you a more proficient speaker. Happy learning!